what is going on everybody it's your boy misfit trucker so you're you just came across this video because you're looking into getting to trucking whether you got laid off due to recent events that have happened or you just want to get out there and try it out you hear good things you hear bad things and now it's time to step in and try it yourself but before you do let's go over a couple things and explain the pros and cons and and what you need to know before jumping behind a steering wheel in the semi truck. Stay tuned. If this is your first time here, please hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell notifications for every time I upload. And well, if you like this video, maybe think about, you know, leaving me a thumbs up as well. Trucking isn't for everybody. It's not getting behind a steering wheel and driving. No, that's a common misconception. You want to get into truck driving, you need to ask yourself these important questions first. Why do I want to be a truck driver? Was I raised in it? Does it seem like good money? Was it the old western movies like Smokey and the Bandit? Most people that get into trucking were raised into it. A lot of people went to truck driving school because they, they felt a new career was needed. But a lot leave within seven years. If you get past just like a marriage, that seven year mark, you're in it for life. And that's something to be proud of. So, here's one thing you're going to need to know. One, trucking is not cheap. Whether you go to school or you go through a company or you have somebody train you, which a lot of companies will not hire you unless you're being trained by a school or another company. You can't be trained privately. Trucking is going to be expensive. The travel, the food, and if you can't get a grant, the school. Now, second thing. If you decide to go to school or you find a school that trains you, now it's going to come to the point of where do I work? What company to go to? What company pays the most? You're going to see a lot of different perspectives online. It's up to you to do your research in choosing your first company that you go to. Be worried though. A lot of these big companies use social media sites as well. And recruiters will try to recruit you from them and you got to make sure you do your research and don't follow the first company that comes to mind check them all out use your social media to your advantage find out what the reviews are get advice from other drivers that work there and also careful of posting stuff on social media if you're working for a big company because they will see it as well so if you find a company careful what you post Getting into the trucking requires going through a lot of traffic and you're going to have to learn to have patience. Traffic is going to be your biggest test. I know I used the scene earlier, guys. Stop typing. But when you get into certain cities, you'll notice the stress level will immediately change. You either you, you got to learn to control it and patience will be your biggest thing. Same with dealing with construction. Same with dealing with brokers and receivers. You're going to find out that that co-signers, shippers, receivers, uh, brokers, all those people, they're going to frustrate you. They're going to be making your day a little harder and breakdowns. Breakdowns will also happen. It, it's going to happen. It will occur. You must be able to calm down, breathe, and be stress-free. The reason why I mention that is because you're going to see that a lot of drivers die of heart attacks or they die of strokes they die of poor health stress does affect your health it affects your mental health and your daily health so make sure you're 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 at peace with yourself and don't worry you're gonna have days where you're getting the california hellos and you're giving everybody else the california hellos but understand that it is a stressful lifestyle oh and truck stops truck stops can be stressful too late night trying to find parking and trying to get fuel oh yeah that that's my stress <laughs> you're gonna have to learn a lot of laws and deal with the police or dot quite often it is not a unnormal thing to deal with dot officers at least once a month now i know some of you guys out there are gonna be like oh well i don't ever see dot i haven't seen him in 20 something years we get it you're perfect stop typing because trucking is the most danger is one of the most dangerous jobs in the US, we need the DOT to look over some people's trucks that don't know how to maintain it. 
trucking can be very peaceful. You go into a lot of quiet places. You go to a lot. You see a lot. And if you choose the right company, you get the experience in. You can make bank. The average truck driver makes about fifty thousand to eighty thousand a year, sometimes more. Hey, look at me! I actually ran out of B-roll footage, and I wasn't gonna go walk around. So, getting lazy now. But one thing you have to understand is trucking can give and trucking can take. One, divorce rate is seriously high. It's right up there with the military. We're gone all the time. Jody's be moving in, taking over your woman, uh, or the driver decides to cheat. Whatever the case may be, trucking has a very high divorce rate. If you're married, don't go over the road. Try to find something local. Try to find something regional. Try to find something where you're home more. If you're over the road, it's a very low chance you'll make it. Second, isolation. You will see that a lot of truck drivers have YouTube videos or a YouTube channel. A lot of truck drivers have blogs. A lot of truck drivers have Facebook. Like, we have so much time on our hands. This is kind of all we got, right? Like, this is how we make... This is how we, we pass the time. We watch YouTube, we watch Netflix, Hulu, all that stuff. So when you get here, you're, you're going to find yourself wanting to do something to pass by the time because there's going to be times where you're going to be sitting a lot. Now, some awesome things. One of the best things, in my opinion, is the relationships you do gain. You get friends. You build a lot of connections out here. You make friends that you never would have thought you would have made a million years. Now to follow up with, uh, with some bad stuff. The uh, the food. Truck stop food is expensive. Learn to cook. Once you get in that truck, you better learn to cook because you'll see that you will never have a decent bank account as long as you're buying truck stop. Y'all see me? This is truck stop food. Don't do what I did, all right? I, I, I'm just now getting back into cooking in the truck again. Uh, you'll If you're doing van or reefer, you're going to be sitting in the truck a lot. If you want to keep the weight off, try to find an active job like flatbed. Something that you can uh, constantly move around. Get out of the truck a little bit. Doing van and reefer, opening doors, door swinger, you're going to gain weight. If you skinny, you're about to be fat. You're about to be a big boy. Unless you're one of those that like works out all the time. Um, it, like I said, in the beginning of the video, this is a very unhealthy lifestyle. So... It's not just the stress that'll kill you, it's the food too. Remember that. Truck drivers are the backbone of the economy. They're needed everywhere. If you got it, a truck brought it. And that's one good thing about having a CDL. You will never be without. As long as you take care of it and you do what's right. We are needed. People might hate us, but we serve a duty. Just like the military, just like firefighters, and just like the police. Without us, all of it goes down. Just remember that. I honestly hope that this video helps somebody out there. Trucking is a stressful life, but you work hard enough, you push, you do what you can do. It can also be very beneficial. You can start doing just as a company driver, you know, make some money. And some people, they move on to be an owner operator. Owner operators make decent money too. But we are called upon, and when we're called upon, we go out and do it. We succeed. We get it done. Regardless of the hate, regardless of the trucker talk, drivers, <laughs> we're all brothers and sisters out here. We just fight, you know. So I want to thank you all for watching. If this is your first time here, I know I said it at the beginning, please consider subscribing. Hit that like button. Go check out Roadtails Podcast and Trucker Stories on Facebook. Um, we also have a website, semitruckdriver.com. And uh, we're going to be uh, doing more, try to try to help newer drivers. I don't norm I've, I haven't done a video where I helped uh, newer drivers lately, and, and it's it's been a while. You know, I've been driving about six years. I'm still new, technically. But there's so many videos, so many videos out there. That, that give the same information so thank you all for giving me a chance and uh, and watching mine um, if you all have any questions or anything you want to add please feel free to add it down in the comment section we get questions all the time and sometimes I can't get to them all but when I do see them I will answer them and as for the one main question of what company to start with that's probably one of the hardest uh, questions out there. You'll never find it. 
because you'll never find a dedicated channel to to give you the right answers because they're all starter companies sorry this night truck <laughs> you got super close to my truck all right guys well you have a wonderful night be safe keep the rubber side down and as usual misfits i'm out